You still hanging in there, Dad? Attention, citizens, subjects, and slaves of Cislodia. I, Lord Ganabelt Valkyris, do formally open these proceedings. Behold! The brazen worm who would get in the peace and order of our fair city. As if his scheme weren't foolish enough, he then made the mistake of thinking he could hide it. Take heed, Danans, and engrave this edict into your souls. Such fool's right to life in Cislodia shall be forfeit. Now, Embedded, you should listen carefully. Before my final verdict, I am prepared to offer you an unprecedented chance at mercy. Where are your comrades? Give them up before those assembled, and I shall spare you your life. <laughs> Fine time I have. If you're so tremendously determined to suffer for the sake of your allies, then I will see to it that you do. Tell everyone yet? Just what do you want me to say? <laughs> First, tell the people about the mistakes you made. Then, the whereabouts of your friends. <sighs> mistakes, huh? Where to start? I've made so many in my life that I've lost count. All my life I've had to fight, but I have known nothing but loss. I was so caught up in the struggle to survive in this world that I ended up neglecting my own family. I have lost so many good friends. I even lost my wife and my son. I'll never be able to fix these mistakes. Not a single one. It sounds to me as if the greatest mistake of your life was never learning to stay down when you were beaten. A good man once told me if I take up this fight, I'd have to pay a price. Turns out he was right. After all, the very people and things I was fighting to protect the most were payment. I don't regret keeping up the fight for a second. But still, not a single day goes by when I do not think about what I have lost. Not telling others how much they truly meant to me before it was too late. That is your answer. That's the greatest mistake of my life. Do yourselves a favor and never become like me. Don't continue to make the same mistakes until it's too late to fix them. Ask yourself what it is you couldn't bear to lose. What are you attacked with all of your might? Then hold on and never let go! That's quite enough. <laughs> 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 
listen to that voice deep inside of you. Together, no wall can hold you back. And the same goes for the ones the Lord made you build inside your own hearts. not exactly the best time to catch up. And there's still a lord in need of beating. Yeah, you're right about that. So you're the son, are you? <laughs> I thought I'd ordered for you to be relieved of your duties until all this was over. I'll see to it the person at fault is reprimanded appropriately. What? Oh, well. You've served your purpose more excellently than anyone could have hoped. Zephyr! If it isn't the infamous Alphen of Calaglia. And he's joined by his fellow conspirators, the likes of Traitor and a Danon Witch. They're not conspirators. They're friends. And they're not alone. Oh, Minnick! You finally made it! Your reign is over right now. You hear me, Canabelt? The Master Corps is acting up. What is it? Uh, Menic? <laughs> I was hoping to drag this out a little longer. But that's a Master Core. What? <gasps> no, Dad! So the Master Cores react to each other, I see. How interesting. You can drop the act. It's over. All this time, it was really you? Every second. You stand before the Lord of Cislodia, Ganabelt Valkyrus, in the flesh. You mean... a Renan Lord's been leading the Danon Resistance? You're not the only one skilled in the art of deception, you know. A mere side vocation in my own case, but sufficient in bringing the Blazing Sword of Calaglia to my doorstep. <laughs> All of this was just to get to me? Alvin! Zephyr is... Dad! Dad! That's a special poison. Ordinary healing arts will do you no good. <laughs> I wouldn't fret about it, friends. You'll all be dead soon enough. Damn it! They got us outgunned! And all while we're on the defensive. Dad! Dad, come on! Stay with me! <laughs> all this trouble to buy yourself a few extra seconds before you die? <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> They've fled. They'll be back, though. Draw up a welcome party. We'll be ready when they return. <laughs> <laughs>